People continue asking where's the money. Millions of Americans are set to get pay raises starting today as minimum wage is going up in half of all U.S. states. All right, but as NBC's Sam Brock shows us, for business owners, it means more expenses with some already planning to lay off workers. After years of fighting for a higher wage floor in cities across the country, the new year is going to bring a new paycheck for millions of Americans, with about half of all states and the District of Columbia either raising the minimum wage on January 1st or at some point during the year. Hawaii's increase will be the largest, while Washington will have the highest minimum wage of any state at more than $16 an hour. But it's California and fast food workers like Anisha Williams who are seeing the most seismic changes after years of struggles. I have to pick and choose um, between rent, groceries, um, and livelihood. Now, the Golden State's minimum wage jumps to $16 at the beginning of the year, and for fast food workers, it rises to 20 in April. The mother of six, Williams, says that is definite progress. We protested every which way to prove our point. But businesses are reacting, especially in California, where several Pizza Hut franchise owners will reportedly lay off more than a thousand drivers statewide and rely instead on companies like DoorDash. For mom and pop shops like Frankie's Pizza in Old Town Sacramento, the owner tells us the wage hike will mean longer hours for him. Are you saying you would hire more employees, but because of the rate hike, that is no longer an option? I cannot do it. I can't. Um, I mean, who's going to pay it? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be able to afford to do it. I have to uh, work longer hours to compensate for that. This new reality for many businesses, coming as 20 states still rely on the decades old federal minimum wage of 725 in place since 2009. While workers like Williams see new opportunities. So many people doubting us and Sometimes I can't even believe it, you know, and I'm just so, I'm so happy. Sam Brock, NBC News.